Okay, good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I am currently north from Dix Creek Gap. Stayed at uh, Lake Chatuga Lodge last night. Had a wonderful stay. Uh, got my laundry done. Then uh, hiked into Hiawassee, picked up my supply box from the post office, and then grabbed a shuttle from Hiawassee to Dix Creek Gap. So it's an 11 o'clock 11 o'clock shuttle. So a little later on the trail today. So not quite sure exactly how how far I'll go. It's possible I'll get to the North Carolina line today. We'll see. If I do that, it'll be about a nine mile day. So. I don't know if I'll go quite that far. If there's stuff along the way, I'll certainly show you. No views so far. It's more uh, hiking in the clouds. All right, talk to you soon. Look at that. It's my shadow. The sun is out. It's going to be my final day in Georgia. I believe. And finally. The sun comes out. Look at that. super steep. I can't tell if it's going to take us around it a little bit and then up or what it's going to do, but yeah, that looks steep. Look how beautiful this is though. The sun came out. I bet when I get to the top there'll be some good, you know what, views. Got us a pretty view. Finally, Georgia shows the sun. I'm 0.7 from North Carolina. That's okay, I'll take it. Look right here, made it. Made it out of Georgia. <sighs> well, finally made it out of Georgia. Seemed like it took long enough. The climbs were intense. The sun finally showed itself the last few miles, so super excited. On to North Carolina. I'll talk to y'all soon. Another successful hang. Pretty far down the hill though, but that's all right. Here's my setup for the night. I'm at Bly Gap, just into North Carolina. Not very crowded here, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but to the wind but we'll see anyway there I am okay good morning it's Wednesday March the 18th made it to North Carolina stayed at Bly Gap and now I'm going to talk about something that I've been not wanting to talk about. Uh, it's kind of the elephant in the room with this whole hike. And I think everybody knows what that is. And that's the uh, coronavirus. So. Made the decision last night. 
uh, that for me, a through hike needs to be postponed. Uh, it's just not what I envisioned a through hike for me with everything closed up and you take a zero and you can't eat in the restaurant and things like that. So, uh, plus ATC is uh, urgent through hikers off. Now, best of luck to those still on the trail We're going up to Katahdin. I wish you all the best. Uh, I'm currently headed south back to Dix Creek Gap and so all those hikers that I've been hiking with uh, I've got to meet them going back south so um, I want to give a shout out to to some of them uh, Flash honored to hike with you loved it Doc super cool dude from Texas another Texan uh, awesome to hike with uh, Tom from Baltimore, not sure where you are right now, but got to hike with you a whole day. Uh, Blueberry, Spud, fantastic, and Caesar, French Press, uh, Mitch, Mitch from Indy, Quick Legs, stayed with him at Bly Gap last night. I know I'm, I'm forgetting some people uh, early on. Uh, there was Katie. I uh, saw her at the shelter before Springer. Um, but yeah, great people to hike with. And I know they're going to make it. Oh, Murph. I know they're going to make it all the way to, to Katahdin. So, and like I told some of them, there's a possibility. I'm just going to throw this out there. Once this blows over, I'll go up to Katahdin and go south. Maybe I'll pass them again going south. So, anyway, uh, this was after a lot of deliberation last night and uh, talking with my wife. And, and I was tired last night, too, so I was hoping that didn't play into it. But when I woke up this morning, uh, for me, I knew it was the right decision. So, anyway, I've been trying to avoid talking about Corona because... Some people watch these videos to not really hear about that. So, but anyway. Good morning. So how are y'all? Okay, so a little bit of a reset here. It's now Saturday, February, I can't remember, the Saturday after um, St. Patrick's Day. And as you can tell, I've made it home because this looks nothing like the AT. The trees are so much shorter. The mud is even different. It's got so much more clay in it. Also, I'm not hiking with a pack, so I feel super light. Um, yeah. So, I'll see if I can show you some views on this trail. This is my home trail. Uh, luckily, I have it right by my house. It's got some ups and downs, uh, nothing like the AT. Even in just the short, the short section that I hiked of the AT, the whole Georgia section, um, I can already tell my legs are so much stronger because this trail kind of seems like a baby trail. So, but it's what I got to, to train with and I'm happy to have it. Uh, so, I'll share some views along the way here as I go on a... I guess you could call it a recovery hike and I'll share my thoughts also. All right. Talk to you soon.
one thing different here in North Texas, the trees are starting to bud out. Uh, I don't think they were doing that yet in Georgia, not in North Georgia. So a little bit warmer here. Spring's a little earlier at this latitude. I thought we were similar latitudes, but I don't know. I'm not a climatologist as far as when spring happens in certain parts, but we're a little ahead of uh, Georgia, it looks like. Yeah, so here's the lake, Lake Texoma, southern shores of Lake Texoma. Here in North Texas, Lake Texoma is a 89,000 acre lake, man-made. Completed in the 40s by damming the Red River in Denison, Denison Dam. Birthplace, Denison, the birthplace of uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. So, that formed this lake from the Red River in the 40s, and that's where I live. Beautiful day today. Highport Marina here. All right, I'm gonna keep going. This is what I'm talking about with that clay mud that we have here. It's so different than Georgia. The mud doesn't stick to you quite as bad as it does here. On the AT, you'd probably consider this a water source, but you're so close to civilization, I'm not sure I would uh, necessarily even drink that after filtering, unless I absolutely had to. But yeah, that... Uh, goes right into the lake coming down from the hill there All right, as I continue on my recovery hike, it's gonna end up being about seven miles. And without a pack and with what I've been doing lately, it's gonna seem like a cakewalk. Reflecting on my decision to leave the trail. So I just kinda wanted to talk about that and kind of wrap this series up until next time. So my decision to leave the trail uh, was twofold. So the first part of it is, is somewhat of a selfish reason. The through hike that I envisioned and the hikes that I saw from watching vlogs, the the last two or three years um, my idea of a AT through hike was a social one and for me that was out of my outside of my comfort zone and I wanted to experience that uh, getting to know different people on the trail hanging out at shelters when you take a zero you know maybe you're in a, a cool hangout or a brewery or something like that and so for me that's something I really wanted to experience and it was not going to be that way this year when I started getting close to North Carolina you started hearing about closures up that way and restaurants being closed everything was takeout I experienced some of that in Hiawassee at the McDonald's it was weird so 
wasn't going to be the same type of hike. The other part of it is the ATC's urging of hikers to get off the trail. So I chose for me to heed that advice and do that. Uh, I didn't want to potentially expose myself or others. So for me, that was a personal decision. And I know there's a lot of debate about that. So I'm not really interested in all that uh, negativity around the whole decision that, that you know people have to make and if they stay on trail you know the negativity that they face i don't want to be a part of that um everyone has to make their own choice so i'll just leave it at that i made mine and i'm comfortable with it so yeah it's a disappointment for sure but for me i have the luxury that i can try it again soon now when is that soon i don't know i'm going to leave the option open of a sobo in june uh, but in all reality i don't think that it's going to blow over by then so the more likely scenario is a 2021 attempt no bow and i'll start from springer again probably not the approach trail but uh, I will start from Springer Mountain. So, yeah. Best of luck to those still on the trail. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I know for some, this is their shot. And I totally get that. So, I wish you nothing but positivity and good vibes as you continue north. For those that got off the trail, the same continue positivity and just know that we can try again uh, to all the people I met on the trail super awesome to meet you just starting to get to know some of you but uh, there'll be another day and I'm going the wrong way um, missed my turn Oh, and another thing I want to talk about is support, family support. For me, it's key. Uh, my wife, Shelly, packing boxes, sending those out, um, you know, talking me through some things, uh, finding me a hotel when I was sick. Uh, that was key for me. My brothers and my sister watching along on the map share on the Garmin cheering me on amazing uh, and the trail angels that were out there still doing trail magic even amidst all that's happening with this pandemic still out there helping people out shuttle drivers I had to rely on shuttles uh, three times and so I had some good shuttle drivers and they were very much appreciated. Okay, with all that being said, I also want to thank the people that subscribed and you, and you that watch this and uh, get some degree of enjoyment from watching me hike and learning things and rambling. So yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, look at this, my brother got me a welcome home present six pack of shiner bach he even included a uh, clorox wipe with it and whatever's in here <laughs> oh my goodness look at that he made a cake my brother made a cake for me. Unbelievable. Thank you, Mark. Holy cow. Welcome home, Ray. I think that's the, that's the trail. That is awesome. Thank you, brother. Haha, uh -huh, and Shiner. Uh, the cake my brother made for me. 
It's chocolate. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay. Are you holding it right? That's good. Mm-hmm. That's a good effing cake right there. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. That was really good. I know. I'm fixing it, Nappies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you need milk, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do we have milk? We do have plenty of milk. 